The picking transaction in Warehouse Mobility is used to physically pick the items and place them into some sort of cart or trolley. In order for it to work, we must have generated an outbound advice or a pick list in LN prior to the picking transaction taking place. The picking transaction will work either against an outbound advice or against a pick list and works in exactly the same way in both scenarios. In this example, I've created a sales manual order against the same run number with four lines for four different types of items. The first item, FTWM02, is a standard item without lots or serials. Second item, FTWM04LD, is an item that is lot in inventory and inventory date controlled. The third item, FTWM07, is a serial as built item. And the fourth item, FTWM08, is a serial in inventory item. The picking transaction is accessed by the outbound transaction menu. We then select the picking and the screen comes up. We can either pick by order, run number or mission number. In this case, I'm going to pick by order number. I'm going to leave the rest of the fields to default. What it will then display is the consolidated pick list. So it's telling me to pick 10 FTWM 02s, 10 FTWM 04 LDs, 3 FTWM 07 and 3 FTWM 08. Note that it has consolidated the final three lines on the outbound advice into a single line for efficiency purposes. So if I'm going to pick the first item, I click on it and it will then tell me where to go. For security purposes, we would advise that we set the parameters so that it scans the item, scans the location to confirm that you are picking the correct item and from the correct location. I can then specify that I've picked the 10, hit submit, and that will flag that item as being physically picked. In other words, in this case, it's been transferred from the original location to some cart location. Similarly, for the next item, which is lock controlled, it will ask me to scan in the item. These are all configurable, these fields, whether they should be scanned or not. Again, we would recommend that you do scan them in to ensure accuracy. And again, I can pick the 10. Successful message, and then I start to pick the third item, which if we remember was serial as built. So the actual original outbound advice did not have any serial numbers on it. I can now do this and it will then ask me, do I want to generate the serial numbers or am I actually going to scan in the serial numbers that I'm picking? So I'm going to scan in the serial numbers that I'm picking and these will be attached to the outbound advice so that when we generate the shipment, the shipment will have the correct serial numbers on. Finally, the last line is for a serial in inventory item. In this case, I'm going to scan in this. I'm going to scan in the item and location as before and scan in the quantity that I'm picking. So I'm going to hit submit and then I'm going to scan in my serial numbers P101, P102, P103. So this confirms that I've picked those correct serials. Based on the parameter settings, I can also change it so that I could scan different serial numbers if I wanted to, or I could scan the items in a different location, or I could scan a different lot number if necessary. Also, if the outbound advice or pick list contained handling units, then obviously I would be picking by handling unit rather than by the anonymous stock.